Hi there. In this issue, we will continue monitoring the hottest spots on the planet that have become epicenters of large-scale natural disasters in May 2018. We have already talked about Kilauea, the most active volcano on the planet in one of the past issues. We would like to forget about him once and for all, but the situation is deteriorating so rapidly that we have to return to this topic again. Hopes for residents of Hawaii that the volcano will cool its fervor by mid-May has failed. The small earthquakes that woke Kilauea in early spring are now felt almost every minute. Lava flows out of the 20 faults, which leads to its spillage on the island exceeding the area of Manhattan. 82 houses have been erased from the face of the earth. The only road that allowed organized evacuation by local residents is destroyed. Every day, the volcano sends up 15,000 tons of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide into the sky. Lava flows have already reached the coast, which leads to intense evaporation and even more poisoning of the air. While the situation is saved by the winds, which carry part of the toxic smog towards the ocean, but the Geological Service warns about the further growth of volcanic activity. The unprecedented force of the storm with heavy rain, lightning and giant hail on May 15th hit the city of Pleven, Bulgaria. As a result, crops were destroyed, the roofs of four houses were torn down, and perennial trees torn out of the ground from the roots. Hundreds of buildings were left without lights, there are no casualties among the local population, but the city's infrastructure has suffered serious damage. Even old timers do not remember such wildfires here. The torrential rains that hit Turkey in early May provoked a flood, the strongest in the past 500 years. An emergency message on May 5th, 2018 was released and published by National News. Powerful rushing waters descended on the streets of Ankara and picked up cars and trucks with ease. The water damaged more than 100 cars and flooded the first floor of buildings. Six people received injuries of varying severity. Fortunately, fatalities were miraculously avoided. This event became a real test for the municipal services of the capital. Some blockages have to be dissembled, even after a month later. May 15, 2018, for 20 minutes, the strongest hail tested the strengths of roofs on houses and cars in Xinan District in the northwest part of China. The local meteorological office recommended residents to wait out the elements inside, and for good reason, because some of the hailstones that fell were so big they had the difficulty fitting into the palms of their hands. Fortunately, there were no victims. On May 25, 2018, the extremely violent tropical storm Makunu reached the Sultanate of Oman on the southeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula. The sky brought down to the region very strong downpours and heavy wind, with gusts up to 200 km per hour. For one night, heavy water fell to the earth equal to 300 mm of precipitation, which is three times higher than the annual rate for the region. Many settlements were completely flooded and de-energized. From the ancient port city Salal, which was recently called the Southern Maldives, more than 10,000 people were evacuated. At the end of the month, the storm over Oman stopped. 13 people were killed, 40 disappeared into the sea as a result of shipwrecks. As reported by the local television station, the cyclone that crashed onto the Arabian Peninsula was provoked by the appearance of the present flood and the flooding of the Rubal Kali Desert, and given that the sandbox is located on the territories of Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, and the Arab Emirates, we can imagine the scale of cataclysm. Our planet is rapidly covered with giant wrinkles. In mid-March, a colossal fault was formed in Kenya, and in early May, the relay was picked up by New Zealand, where it formed a fault with the height of a six-story building. And on May 23rd, Uganda cracked, destroying more than 300 homes 
and many key vital infrastructure facilities. The fate of the African continent is already predetermined, scientists believe. Africa will split along the East African fault line, stretching across northern Ethiopia to central Mozambique. This will form the Nubian and Somali plates. Experts have very recently assured us that this will happen no sooner than in a million years. But taking into account the realities and a huge number of factors affecting the rate of displacement of tectonic plates, specialists are not ready to make an exact mathematic calculation of global faults. However, the inhabitants of the affected region do not trust the priests of science very much and are leaving the very dangerous territory. Do they have any basis for skepticism? Maybe, yes. The past May will be remembered by the inhabitants of many states of India as a month of the strongest dust storms and an abundance of water, lightning, and poisonous snakes floating on flooded streets. According to the most conservative estimates, more than 200 people died as a result of the disaster. May 28th in the Indian states of Uttar, Pradesh, Bihar, and Jharkhand, there were showers accompanied by thunderstorms with lightning and a strong wind that rushed up to 60 kilometers per hour. The property of the already not wealthy inhabitants of the region, agriculture crops and livestock are severely damaged. The heavy wind uprooted hundreds of trees, demolished the roofs of lighthouses, and brought down the poles of power lines. Because of the lack of electricity, the staff of the Institute of Medical Sciences was forced to stop and transferred operations to at least 30 patients. The people did not lose heart, but the forecasts of meteorologists for the affected regions are not too optimistic. The most discussed and popular topic in a certain news segment is the activity of the Yellowstone supervolcano. Some optimistic researchers believe that the events develop within the limits of acceptable risk and should not be particularly worried about for the time being. Others, to the contrary, find new evidence of a fatal scenario. One of these was a large tectonic shift under the volcano and the subsequent awakening of the steamboat geyser, who had been asleep since 2014. The first signs of life began to apply as early as March 15, 2018, with an increasing frequency of three or more times this spring. In the opinion of some experts, this unusual change in the frequency of the awakening of steamboat geyser is directly related to the advance of magma to the surface. While some researchers are sure that the eruption of the geyser is nothing more than a spectacular show that should be enjoyed. As reported by media outlets of the town of Idaho Falls, USA, on April 10, 2018, geese began to fall strangely to the ground. According to the officials, the birds that fell were about 50 but local residents assure that the statistics were nicely embellished and the fact is that the birds that fell to the ground were several hundred. This video shows how something like a bird falls from a dense cloud like a stone. What caused this strange phenomenon? Clearly defined zone of defeat in a terrible thunderstorm on the day of the tragedy gave experts reason to assume that the pack flew into a thunderstorm and became a victim of lightning. The investigation of the incident continues. On the same day, dead birds were found in the center of the American town of Little Rock, Arkansas. If you remember, in our previous issue, we mentioned the strange invasion of thousands of birds in Texas in February 2018. But as then, the intelligible reason why the birds lose their orientation and settle their lives was normal according to the ornithologist. It's unlikely that we can radically influence the intensity of awakening of supervolcanoes, the speed of tectonic plates breaking, and the change of geomagnetic poles. But order and chaos in your own city, house, street, park, and in the future, in the country, is quite real. What do you think? Write it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.